20 million visitors flock to Venice each year, with most of them coming off the many cruise ships, so it's a busy place. But there are better times of the year to visit, and so our first tip is to consider going over Christmas into New Year. This is not without the risk of flooding, of course, but it can be a magical time. Crisp and cold, but without smell and the constant bustle of the crowds. New Year's Eve was spent with the crowds, but then that's what you're looking for. Make sure that you book a restaurant beforehand, enjoy a good meal, and then don your overcoats for the fireworks celebrations. We made for St Mark's Square, and it was a great view. The city of Venice is divided up into six quarters, with the most famous being San Marco. But our second big tip is stay in a hotel or even better use the internet to source an apartment in one of the quieter areas. We stayed in the Dorsadura district which was close to the more popular sites but much quieter and just off the main tourist radar. We rented a one bedroom apartment for three nights which was a perfect time for us comfortable and quiet residency, it had everything we could want, and it was warm. One of the first things we did was go to the theatre to see an ongoing play in English covering the history of Venice. You can book this in advance, and it's not only entertaining but provided a great insight into the birth and life pangs of a city founded on 118 small islands and linked by 417 bridges. Another thing not to be missed if you like classical music is to go to one of the main churches to hear Venice's own composer Vivaldi. You may feel you know his music well, but hearing him played on his home ground provides the perfect musical backdrop. There are a number of ways of getting around the city, but our third big tip is to just walk. We sketched out three main walks that we wanted to do, embracing the rich tapestry of churches, canals and squares. We can thoroughly recommend Joanne Tishmarch's Walking Guide. Our first walk was to dust the cobwebs off on New Year's Day. This took us from our apartment to the Academia Bridge and down onto the low-flying Zoteri, running along the Canal della Giotecca. Walking round the corner, we came to the Santa Maria Saluti Church, built to give thanks for the eradication of the plague in 1631. We then went back onto the Zateri and walked west along the collection of old churches, hospitals and warehouses before turning back into the heart of the district to enjoy the stillness of the bright and cold New Year's Day. Our second walk took us east into the more popular San Marco district, this time with a guide, Arco Secchi, a native of the city but who works worldwide as a freelance photographer. This is our fourth tip, go with a guide. Not only was Marco fascinating in his own right, but he combined an intimate knowledge of the architecture and people of the city with a finely honed photographer's eye. He educated and he coached us for half a day moving through the district to appreciate the life of what is now only 55,000 inhabitants in the city. Under his careful tutelage, we work with the detail of different light settings and focus to capture the intricate relationship between water and building and between locals and tourists.
Windows shopping is another great pastime. Many of the shops showed off the pageantry and the intrigue of masked balls. With other shops showing off the renowned Italian design. And then finally, a most unusual combination of Venetian water transport and book life. Our final walk took us on a salamander tour of the city, starting at our apartment, going north to cross the Grand Canal at the train station, and then walking down towards St Marco. Although with the same ingredients of squares, canals and churches, we passed through areas that had subtly different orientations, whether that be academic, commercial, food, or less happy and pleasurable historical connotations such as the Jewish ghetto. Venice is a magnificent city, and if you can be creative with your planning, then you really can enjoy it without the hustle and bustle.